Everybody, welcome to Boxcaster. It's Friday. It's time for our bold predictions. That's how we roll here. We break down all the big fights over the weekend and give you our take on who is going to win. We'll start things off in Nuremberg, Germany, and the final World Boxing Super Series Super Middleweight semifinal pitting tournament favorite Callum Smith against last-minute replacement Nikki Holskin. Smith going into this, the pre-tournament fave. He's really long. He's very sharp. Jabs well. Good power off the jab. It is a real handful. However, we've got this last-minute wild card Holskin thrown in. He is no joke. The guy can crack. He's got a Muay Thai kickboxing background, but don't let that fool you. His hands are really good. But I see Smith trying to keep this on the outside, using that power from a distance, and I think eventually breaking down Holskin. But it's going to be a very competitive fight. But I do see Smith winning in around the 10th round with the stoppage win. Next, we are off to Los Angeles and the fabulous forum for an unbelievable card. They're calling it Superfly 2. Four huge world title fights between eight of the best small warriors on the planet. We start things off with a battle for the IBF flyweight title between champion Donnie Nieres and Juan Carlos Roveco. Should be a terrific fight. Nieres really more of a very patient fighter. Fights on the outside, economical with his shots, but when he does throw, they do land with some authority versus Roveco, who comes in full bore and throws a lot of volume shots. That makes for a good action fight, but he busts up, and I do see the champion Yetis retaining his title with a 10th round stoppage on cuts in what should be a terrific fight. Next, another flyweight title up for grabs. It's vacant, it's the WBA version, and it is gonna be a good one. Brian Valoria trying for another world title going up against Artem Dalakian of the Ukraine. This, I think, is going to be a fun fight. Delakian, a very wide, awkward guy, throws looping shots. I think that plays into Valoria's compact, straight ahead, fast-fisted style to a T. I like Valoria doing his work on the inside violently, and fairly quickly, I see him stopping him in the fifth round for another world title for the Hawaiian Punch. Next, we move up three pounds. It is for the WBC Silver Super Flyweight title. Carlos Cuadras going up against McWilliams Arroyo. What a great fight this is going to be. I mean, both guys are kind of similar in a way. They're kind of wide. They throw strong, huge shots. The difference is Cuadras more polished, more able to get to the inside, move around a lot. He's better with the angles, and he shoots power from the angles. And because of that, in a really fun-filled fight, I like Quadras to win that WBC silver title with a 10th round stoppage in an absolute doozy. And we end things off with one of the fights of the year. It is going to be absolutely thrilling from bell to bell. One, Francisco Estrada going up against Sariskaset Sorungvisai for Sorungvisai's WBC super flyweight title. Oh my God, this is going to be great. You know, in studying this fight, I've been all over the place on it. Do I like the boxing style of Estrada or do I like the absolute power of Sarang Visay? And going back and forth, but then looking back in some fights and saw how Estrada and Valoria went to war and how successful Valoria was at times at closing the gap and imposing his strength on Estrada, who was very willing to throw down with them. I don't think Estrada can change his stripes. I think he's a good, terrific boxer puncher, but when it comes time to punching, he's more than willing to throw down. I do think that's going to be a mistake against Sariskaset Sorungvisai. And in an absolute thriller, I see Sorungvisai landing the haymaker that he needs to land and retaining his title with, again, another late round stoppage. I'm calling it in the ninth round for Sariskaset Sorungvisai in an instant classic. So let me know, what do you think? Was I on point or on crack? Leave your comments and your predictions in our comment section. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Get to it, hit that subscribe button, and also let the world know you like what you're doing, and like us profusely, just the way we like you. Remember, for all the best predictions, comments, everything, features, arguments, debates, observations on the sweet science anywhere, there's only one place to turn, right here, Boxcaster. Keep them up.